48, we've got another projectiles question here. It's 20 meters per second at an angle of 30. So horizontally, we've got 20 cos 30. And vertically, we've got 20 sine 30. Well, of course, we know that that's 10, don't we? So, and we're looking at, we look at this vertically to begin with, because we want it to go up three meters. We know initially it's 10. We've got an acceleration of minus 9.8. And so that's what we really want is just we want to find out what T is. So let's just use an S equals UT plus half AT squared. Um, 3 equals 10T minus 4.9T squared. And if I solve that quadratic, I can see that the times when it's at 3 metres is 0 0.365 and 1.675. That's when it's equal 3. Of course, if we want it to clear it, we want it to be greater than 3. And so if I solve that on the... Um, quadratic inequality instead, it will tell you that it's greater than three in between either of those two times. So x, well x is going to be how far it's gone horizontally. And how far it's gone horizontally will be 20 cos 30 times by t. So I'm going to put those t's both in there and I can find out that x is then between, I've got 29.01 metres and 6.32 metres. That's my answer for that one. And for part B, we want to know when it hits the ground. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is um, figure out the time when it hits the ground. So I've got I mean, similar things again here. This time I've got S is minus 2, because I want it to go down 2 metres and hit the ground. U is still the 10. Um, everything else is the same. So let's just go uh, A is the minus 9.8, and T is what I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to find out when does it hit the ground. Minus 2 equals 10T minus 4.9 t squared. If I solve that quadratic, I find out it hits the ground after 2.224 seconds. Um, yeah, I like that. That's, um, that's more than that one. Yeah, 2.224 seconds is how long it takes till it hits the ground. Um, So I find the speed as it hits the ground. So the speed, horizontally, of course, you never change. So I've got 20 cos 30. And vertically, the speed is u plus at. So I've got 10 minus 4.9 t. We know what t is. So I'm going to bung that in there. At minus 9.8t, s equals u plus at, sorry, I've been going for three minutes, I don't want to redo it, um, bung that in there, I'm getting 11.8, minus 11.8 for that bit there, and so if I now Pythagoras that, this squared add this squared square rooted, I'm getting 20.96, so I'll round that to 21 metres per second for my speed. 